Sunday, Sunday, Sunday is race day. We are in Sonoma, California. It is beautiful here. We are the marquee matchup with Steve Torrance. We qualified number two with a 366. We are going to go out here and get after it. All right, guys. We are in the, we're actually in the burnout box. Track temp, I think it was 93. 63 is the temperature. We got Steve Torrance. Here we go. Point six nine three at three hundred and thirty three miles per hour and put Stevo into round number two where he will join Billy Billy. Right, we are back from round one. Had Steve Torrance. Uh, Y'all were dead even on the light leaving. Sixty three or seven? I can't remember. Sixty seven. Sixty seven. Okay, dead even. Then what happened? Well, much as I'm going to hear about it. You put a hole out. Put it in the comments. Put it, yeah, put it down below. <laughs> like Jeff Lutz always no, said, just, always put said. just put it in the comments. Just put it in the comments. Put it in the comments. He put a hole out. We don't know why yet. But we knew Steve Torrance, who had not been down the racetrack, was going to make a good run. And they did. But them running 368 does not scare me a bit because had know. we went, we were going to Oh, yeah. It's going to be a heck of a race. It's going to be a heck of a race. Yeah, it was. Coulda, coulda, woulda. We're not playing horseshoes here. Long and short of it is uh, he kicked our butt. Drag racing. It is drag racing at its finest. We'll go on to Brainerd is next. Well, for me. Uh, oh, that's right. I'm going to Norwalk, night under fire. Make a few runs there. Is it a match race? It is a match okay. race. So it's us, Antron, TJ Cizzo, and Brittany. Okay, cool. That'll be a fun. It will be fun. It'll be fun. And it is the largest single day drag racing event in the world. They say there's between 35 and 40,000 people there. Wow. So it'll be fun. I heard it was sold out. Yeah, it so. always is. The Baders are unbelievable. Norwalk is they are. Uh, awesome. They really are. It's awesome. All right. Well, we'll go check in on you at Night of Fire and then follow that up with Brainerd. Dang it. I know. guys i have made it back to the hotel we're gonna go over what happened the rest of the day um, there was one other highlight in top fuel that i was going to show you and that was number one qualifier doug coletta versus ron august who is a local boy that just shows up when they're on that side of the world so here's what they did the points leader the reigning world champion taking on ron august Doug smokes the tires, Ron blows up, and at the stripe, Ron August wins it. 398.5, 243 miles per hour, and Ron August Jr. knocks off the number one qualifier and track record holder, Doug Coletta. He left on the world champ, and he beats him to the stripe. Wow, the champ gets taken out. You just never know what can happen in drag racing. Ron August moves on, and guess what's even crazier? On the ladder, the whoever won between that pair has a bye next round. So Ron August to the semis. Um, highlights for Funny Car, I really just had one. So it is going to be Blake Alexander versus Chad Green. Their way into the countdown for the championship as they have not attended every race. Chad Green, 3.908 on a whole shot. 
gets the win, 329 miles per hour. Blake Alexander goes 390 with a four, but his reaction time started with a one. I'm gonna tell you, Chad Green got lucky. He was 26 on the tree. 26 in a nitro funny car, even if it was chunked in a little bit, like the 60 foot might insinuate. Pretty, pretty difficult to get done. Man, poor Blake Alexander. He's had a rough weekend. He had that huge explosion. If you hadn't seen that on my video, I have it, and I also have it as a short. Uh, had an explosion on Friday. He had a banger uh, on Saturday, and then today he gets beat on, beat on a hole shot. That's a rough weekend. So, I got a couple highlights. I think I have three highlights, actually, in Pro Stock Car. It is Troy Coughlin Jr. versus his uncle, Jay Coughlin Jr., who ran in the Mission Food challenge race yesterday and Troy beat Jig on a hole shot. They had to run each other today in the regular race. I also have Dallas Glenn who hole shotted his way all the way to the finals in last week's race. And then I also have Corey Reed who I talk about. I talked about him last week. He's from Pro Stock Motorcycle who's made his debut into Pro Stock Car. I have his run also. Marquee matchup. Uncle versus nephew. Red light, Troy Coughlin. Jakey goes 696, 208 miles per hour, rattling the tire and pedaling it down low. And Troy turned it red and took the tire off in the process. Side relief out of balance. Not the starting line first. Wow, a perfect reaction time for Dallas Glenn. Double O, Dallas goes triple O to go 652, 210 miles per hour for the win. I'm gonna tell you right now, Dallas Glenn was not trying to have a perfect reaction time in round one of Pro Stock, but he'll take it. Oh, Derek Kramer with issues on the starting line, and Corey Reed is gonna get the first win of his Pro Stock career. j &E Services goes to round two, 653, 210 miles per hour. Derek Kramer dropped the clutch. He was 27 on the tree, and the car died on the starting line. Okay, for Pro Stock Motorcycle, I really didn't have no highlights for first round. Uh, Gage moved on. Matt Smith moved on. So my hi next highlight is going to be back to top fuel. Second round highlight was going, I told you, Ron August got the buy to the semis. So all he has to do is cut the tree under power. Nope, he don't have to make a run. Just cut the tree under power. And the next one after that will be Steve Torrance versus Antron Brown. Will it not start? They're working on it, Jason Galvin. They're, you know, a little disheveled uh, going through the procedure. Ron is in the car, some hand gestures. Glenn Micris, of course, a veteran of Nitro Drag Racing, is just overseeing everything. They've bumped the starter a couple times. Here we go again. Well, it's not firing right now. They're gonna be given, I think, a little bit of time here. It's a quick turnaround for a part-time team that had some mechanical issues. But they're not just gonna be allowed to sit here for the next 10, 15 minutes and figure it out. They're gonna get one or two more chances. As Glenn plugs the coil wires back in. Looks like they found something at the back of the engine that was not plugged in. Boy, can you imagine what's going through Ron August's thoughts right now? And All again, if he doesn't fire, he doesn't get the buy run and he does not advance. Correct. So All just... you need is for the car to start and roll it forward and stage it. And you can go back and take some time before the semifinals to do the proper work that you need to do to this car to diagnose what the issues are and get it fixed. That's all you have to do if you're this team right now. But if the car will not fire, as Joe just alluded to. Bobby Lagana just came over. David Grubnick came over, just kind of overseeing him. Brian Karate is looking. And none of these teams want this car to not fire, Joe. Everybody's cheering for him. The race fans are getting into it in the grandstands, Jason. Oh. That's as close as it's been. There it is. 
Ron August's car rumbles to life. There's a drama moment if you've ever seen one in a top fuel car. And they are indeed just going to take the tree. You see the NHRA crew telling them to move over. Why are they telling them to move over? Well, in the event something happens with this race car, where it's got a leak or something, you don't want it to happen in the groove of the racetrack, right? Glenn Mikers is just going to roll Ron August in. Tell him, go ahead. Just chuck it straight on down. Put it in the pre-stage. Put it in the stage. Tree fires, shut it off, or idle. And Ron August, to the roar of the crowd here at his home race track, will idle down the track. Reaction time advantage to Antron Brown, a great drag race. Antron Brown by eight thousandths of a second, identical. 374 sevens at over 330 miles per hour. It was AB who left first, and that's the margin of victory. Eighth finish line, the closest drag race in top fuel today, goes to Antron Brown. Oh, that Ron August had everybody sweating for him. Um, and then Antron Brown and Steve Torrance, what a race. Funny car highlight, I only really had one, and that's Matt Smith versus Chad Green. Chad Green tries to claw his way back into the top 10 in points. Matt Hagen with a big advantage on the starting line. Chad tried to run him down and ran out of time. Matt Hagen on a hole shot, 393, 331 miles per hour. And it threw the panels out of it again on the top end. The world champion gets it done. Chad Green, you live by the sword, die by the sword. Got put out by Alexander on a hole shot, and then he got beat on a hole shot. So, drag racing. Next highlight, Pro Stock car, Corey Reed, Pro Stock motorcycle guy. See what they do. He's running Eric Latino. For a trip to the semifinals here at the Denzel Nationals on the starting line first. Wow, Eric Latino is spinning around out there. Corey Reed left on him, and Corey Reed is heading to the semis on a whole shot. 6.58.9, 208 miles per hour. Corey Reed wins it with his clutch foot. 6.58.9. 2.08 with an 0.40 reaction time. And hey, Corey Reed, how about that for four wheels, young man? Look at Corey Reed getting it done with his clutch foot. And I had one more I forgot to mention. Erica Enders versus Aaron Stanfield. And Stanfield's off the line first. And wins it on a whole shot. 6.55 beats a 6.54. Aaron Stanfield by nine. Thousands of a second heads to the semifinals. Pro Stock Motorcycle highlight for round two: Gage Herrera versus John Hall. Motorcycle. John Hall had lane choice. He chooses the Denso side of the track. Gage is double O one and won't get there. Six seventy four two O one for John Hall. Was his first career round win against Gage. Gage was double O one. He did what championship riders do, but that bike stumbled off the starting line. Wow, that was a surprise. Uh, what's really going on with Vance and Hines over there? Okay, let's get to the semis. So, semis, top fuel is going to be Ron August versus Tony Stewart. Now, have you, do you think Ron August ever thought in his life he'd be running Tony Stewart? Anywho, Antron Brown versus Brittany Force. Mr. Wright and Ron August Jr. Coming into today, Ron August had one career round win. If he can turn one on here, he'll race for the wall. Oh, Tony Stewart left on him by a mile. He smokes the tires and Tony hangs on. 397, Tony Stewart goes to the final round for the first time in his top fuel career. 397, 278 miles per hour. Tony left on Ron August by a country mile. 
And then Ron started trying to chase him down as that Renai car hazed the tires at half track, but Tony's able to hang on. Has not found the winner's circle here. Antron off the line first. Brittany hazes the tires, and Antron Brown goes three. 73 at 333 miles per hour to pick his lane against Tony Stewart in the final round of Top Fuel Eliminator. Funny Car Semis, Ron Caps versus Matt Hagen and Austin Proc versus Bob Tasca. What a drag race. Ron Caps is going to the final round of his home track. Three. 92, 329 miles per hour by two hundredths of a second. Ron Caps takes that Napa gear wrench GR Supra into the final. Second in points, Tasca dives right in. Austin follows. Austin props 53 and Tasca left on him. And Tasca wins it on a whole shot by 14 thousandths of a second. Bob Tasca the third is 022 on the tree to win it on a whole shot. 393 1 to a 390 with a 1. Make no mistake about it. Bob had that car chunked way in. 921 to 60 feet. But a 22 light. Austin did his job. He was 53 on the tree. 14 thou at the stripe. Pro stock car is going to be Corey Reed versus Jerry Don Tucker and Greg Anderson versus Aaron Stanfield. Hoist his first Wally as a pro stock driver. Elite and KB times two in the semifinals of pro stock. Here we go. Red light, Jerry Don and Corey Reed will race for the Wally in his second start. They run identical, six 64s with a four. Corey at 207 miles per hour, and the JNA Services car goes to the final. Joe. Here with Joey Gladstone. You guys are going to the final round in your second ever. The five time world champion. Three foul the difference, but Greg squares the tire, and Aaron Stanfield heads to the final round for the 20th time in his pro stock career. 6 54 9, 209. Miles per hour. Pro Stop Motorcycle is going to be Hector Arana Jr. versus John Hall. And then Matt Smith has to buy the way the ladder fell. John Hall trying to make this an all Matt Smith racing final round. And John Hall has the better reaction time. Matt Smith racing will win the Sonoma Nationals 677 201 to a 678 at 200 miles per hour. <laughs> 055 on the tree, 105 to 60 foot. 203 miles per hour and a 6.706. Right, to Smith. the finals, Pro Stop Motorcycle Finals, Matt Smith versus John Hall. One of the greatest riders in history. Here's the final round. It's Pro Stock Motorcycle. John Hall with the better reaction time. Can he hold on? It's Matt Smith to the stripe. 6.700, 203 miles per hour, and Matt Smith returns to the winner's circle. Pro Stock Car Final, Corey Reed versus Aaron Stanfield. Look at the Pro Stock Motorcycle contingent on the starting line behind Corey Reed. Here's the final in Pro Stock car. Off the starting line first is Aaron Stanfield. And at the stripe, it's Aaron Stanfield for the third time this year. 654, 209 miles per hour. Aaron Stanfield had 200s in the bank on the starting line. Aaron Stanfield, 38 on the tree. 654, 0 at 209 miles per hour as Elite Motorsports has now won the last six pro stock races. Funny car, Ron Caps versus Bob Tasca. This is the final round of Nitro Funny Car in the Mission Foods Drag Racing Series. 
Off the starting line first. Oh, they're identical. And Tasca's going to win it in the stripe. 408 as they both haze the tires. Identical 057 reaction times. And BT3 with his second Sonoma win in three years goes 408 at 277 miles per hour. Ron Cap smoked the tires first. Tasca drove through some haze and into the winner's circle. And in the first time of his top fuel career, Tony Stewart versus Antron Brown. And emerged victorious. Here's the final final of the Denzo Nationals. It's top fuel, it's AB, and it's smoke. Tony Stewart off the line first. Is this the moment? No, Antron drives around him. 374, 329 miles per hour. And Antron Brown defeats Tony Stewart in the final round, the 77th win of Antron Brown's career and his fifth top fuel win here at the Denzo Nationals to tie Doug Coletta as the winningest top fuel driver in Sonoma history. 374, 329, Tony Stewart had the better reaction time, but Antron drove around him on the top end of the racetrack. And all right, guys, that is a wrap on Sonoma. I appreciate you guys watching. I know it's been kind of crazy back and forth between the racetrack and the hotel looks and all that. But I appreciate y'all being here. I appreciate all the, the live feed. I loved it. We had a great time this weekend. Stay tuned. I'll be back for whenever No Prep Kings come back in the States and NHRA shows back up. We will get back after it. Thanks, guys.